Right now, there is still an active investigation at Denver Public Schools into sexual assault allegations against school board director Tay Anderson. Now, nonetheless, Anderson is returning to full duties. Denver 7's Addie Guajardo was at today's press conference asking some tough questions, including why Anderson's returning. I'm formally announcing my return to my full duties as a duly elected member on the Denver Public Schools Board of Education. Supporters of Tay Anderson came out in force clapping and defending he made accusations without no proof his right to return to the DPS Board of Education after stepping back following allegations of sexual assault nor have I even been contacted by a single law enforcement agency Anderson today criticized the length of the investigation and says no credible evidence has emerged to support any accusations Back in March, Black Lives Matter 5280 claimed a woman came forward and accused Anderson of sexually assaulting her. In May, new allegations came to light when a woman testified before a legislative committee declaring a sexual predator was in the school system and targeted more than 60 students. Anderson was not specifically named by the woman, but in a letter Anderson released, he accused DPS of naming him as a serial predator. Anderson has never been charged, but as the investigation continues, parents are up in arms. It just brings up a lot of anger. About his return before the investigation concludes. He should take into account that an investigation does take time, especially where there's an allegation of sexual misconduct. The investigation isn't complete yet. I understand that he's eager to get back to work, but we're talking about children, the most vulnerable members of our society who don't often have a voice for themselves. So as parents, we really need to be the voice for them and say until the investigation is complete, he shouldn't be back on the school board. The school board also released a statement reading in part, we believe a young black man deserved due process and a fair evaluation evaluation of anonymous allegations that were made on social media. The investigation is expected to wrap up in four to five weeks. So far, the investigation has cost more than $50,000 and the school district plans to pay even more to make sure every stone is unturned. Tay Anderson tonight saying that he's received threats and even had suicidal thoughts due to these allegations. He said now he's ready to get back to work and provide students the tools they need to prevent suicide. He tells us he plans to finish his term with the school board, which ends in 2023. In Denver, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.